Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. In this video, I'm going to plan out the month of May 2023 in my Passion Planner. Before I get started, I am a Passion Planner Ambassador. There is an affiliate link for any Passion Planner goodies that you want to buy in the description of this video and a discount code that gives you an extra 10% off of any Passion Planner merch. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you get a chance to give this video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, so we'll go ahead and get going here. Um, I am planning out the month of May a little, maybe a little earlier than I would typically plan out a, a future month, but that's because, as you can see, there's a lot going on in this month, and I just need to have my ducks in a row so I know what the heck is going on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, decorate a little bit. Actually, let me get my, my supplies. Um, as you can see, what I've started doing is mapping out things with sticky notes ahead of time because I needed to visualize what I had going on in this month um, because I need to line up some childcare. <laughs> so that is my life right now. Um, and I need to figure out like which dates I needed coverage for. So I'm gonna go ahead and like, clamp this down because like the, pa the planner is getting kind of thick so it po it's popping up a little bit on the right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm using today. I'm really excited to show you these stickers that I got from Pip Stickers. Um, I may have shown this to you like in an earlier video kind of haul style, but um, this is when I wanted to bust them out because typically May is the month in where I live where the lightning bugs come out. And it's like one of the first to me like real signals that like we've arrived to summer. And um, so I thought this would be really appropriate to put it on this page. Now, as you can see, like the stickers are pretty like tiny. It's not like a kit or anything. Um, so to kind of supplement a little, I'm going to come in with some washi that matches this yellow um, bit of the little bug light. And then I have also these mod liners. Um, I think that's all I will use, but you know, I, I reserve the right to add some additional things. Um, and the other good bit about like this sticker combo for this is because these are the undated, this is the undated passion planner, there's extra space because they don't like date it, right? So they have sometimes extra weeks. So there's a lot of space in the bottom here to add like a really big sticker. And I was excited that that worked out to accommodate the sticker that I want to use. Um, yeah, so if you do get an undated planner, just know that they they kind of like build in space for every ev like eventuality of the month, depending on if it's going to start like the first here um, or what have you. So there's always extra space in that. And there isn't always extra space in a dated planner. Um, what else? Is there anything else? Okay, yeah. So I'm going to put the washi down now. So yeah, May is shaping up to be a crazy month, but luckily it's not a pile-on situation. Like there is reprieve because the spring classes end. Um, my summer classes do begin, but there's a little bit of a gap between them. And a lot of the, as far as I know, a lot of the work that I'm doing in this month is just sort of like listening in on meetings, um, taking notes for future reference. I don't, I, to my knowledge, there's not like a big heavy work lift where I actually have to produce work for these, I don't think. Um, and that's partly just because I'm new, but also like lower in the hierarchy, um, low enough in the hierarchy that I don't think they're expecting us to do anything to um, like produce anything for these so we'll see my expectations have been uh, it's been an interesting semester let's put it that way so <laughs> I was not my my expectations were not like well managed 
Um, and y'all, I think that's like half the battle. Half of most battles is managing expectations. Um, and I just don't think, I think if you're going to be a leader, you should be good at managing expectations. Um, at the very least, you should be good at that because yeah, um, it just makes everyone's life better. I try to do that with my students at least because it just goes a really long way. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this guy like here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the tweezers out. So I got my tweezers. Um, keep the pattern that was that the sticker pack had. So much. This is probably not exactly the way it appeared, but we're doing the best we can. Aren't these just adorable? I do love uh, love pip sticks, and they have. Um, I know they have sticker boxes, like subscription based. Um, I've not made that splurge, but when I do come across these, or if they're like having a sale, then I scoop some up typ typically. There's like a couple of little like boutique shops that I've seen these in, and it's always kind of nice to stumble across them. I know this sticker is tiny, but I want it. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get a sticker box, or I'll like ask for it, at, like a subscription as a gift or something. I also like. I have am, I have plans to to pick up nicer looking sticky notes if I'm going to be doing this kind of like forward planning and I probably won't do it for every single month but um, like this month in particular there's just a lot and so I'm trying to help myself by thinking ahead when I when I possibly can. Um, and I was looking at Amazon, and they have some really nice options for this kind of, like, these the kind of stickers, the kind of sticky notes that would fit in this type of situation. So I will take a look at that, so stay tuned. I may have some new stickers to share with you. New sticky note stickers. And I'm not sure the heart should go inside the thing. These are so cute. Okay, so I love the way that looks. It's so cute, and it kind of like fills up that extra space. I just think it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and and like hold off on the rest of these for now, um, and then I'm gonna do the plans. And because this isn't like a kind of like typical kit with stickers, like with functional stickers, um, my plan is to use these mod liners to like denote the meetings and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit of a of a haul here as you can see from all of these stickers. <clears throat> but it is helping me realize what I need to do with my life. So and I went ahead and I got this this is the brightest pink mod liner that I own. There was maybe a Tombow that was like slightly closer to this pink or to like the darker pink, but I'm just gonna go with this one and I'm gonna go ahead and put this here in case I like end up having something else later in that day okay cute all right and for the sake of marker switching up <clears throat> I'm gonna alternate to write that so wide but we'll just make it wide this is the weekend that my sister graduates from college which is like 
blowing my mind that she's doing that. <laughs> um, so we are going to see her. It's a car ride, so we don't have to like think about planes or anything. Um, so I think it'll be a lot of fun though. And actually, because my brother and sister-in-law's flight got canceled to Portugal, um, they will be able to come this time, like to it, which initially wasn't going to be the case. So that'll be nice. It'll be like our family trip. Um, you know, chance it's possible it'll be our like last all together family trip for a while just because my um, my brother and my sister in law will be in Portugal. So, and you know, we're, we're planning on visiting them obviously, but we may not be able to visit them the same time that like my mom is visiting or my sister or what have you. So, we'll see. So part of the reason why there are so many meetings in this month for me is we have nine month contracts <laughs> in my university. Um, so we don't get paid to work over the summer. Not that we don't obviously work over the summer, um, but like we can't, these kinds of things, like they can't mandate that we, you know, that we do this. Actually, I'm going to make that... I'm going to make this so we are squeezing in a bunch of stuff before the end of May and um, also kind of planning then for yeah this will be yellow okay um, like planning for the fall at the same time so that's why there are so many meetings I do think that some of my colleagues pile on unnecessarily. Like there doesn't have to be this many meetings in my view. Um, I could be wrong because this is like I'm new. Um, but my suspicion is that some of my colleagues, it's a combination of things. It's time management, which I think could be improved. And it's, uh, it, well, and it's definitely creating busy work. Um, and a lot of it comes down to trust as well. Um, there doesn't like need to be this much oversight in my view. And if there was less oversight, there would be less meetings. <laughs> so that's my two cents on that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, my, the other new hire and myself are qualified experts in many ways, um, more expert than some of our colleagues. Um, I, speaking for myself, have taught just as long or longer than most of them. And I am a very capable, intelligent person. <laughs> so I don't think I need this much hand-holding. And um, it definitely like stings more than I think it would because I'm also like juggling a lot at the moment. So, um, I don't know for me, like for me, it feels more of like an insult because I just, I have so little time as it is. And so I think I, I think it would be less frustrating for me if, um, if I didn't have this much going on as I do. <laughs> so.
So I would be like, oh, okay, whatever. But like, because that's, my life has changed drastically since I had a baby. Um, I just like, I have very little tolerance for people that make other people's lives harder. Um, so this is our trip that we're taking the baby on to, to kind of like just get away. And, um, because we haven't really like taken a trip, just the two of us for like pleasure. It's been like family stuff and, um, which is fun, but it's different when you want to just relax. And even though we're bringing the baby with us, like this will be definitely still relaxing. Is this a meet? Is this this meeting? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. I'm not sure if this was like something I stuck here. This is a 2 p.m. meeting. Oh, no, it probably was here in the 16th. I will double check, obviously, that all my meetings are on here, but yeah, such is, such is my life at the moment. So I'm trying to look forward to all the fun stuff we have planned in this month and not just kind of like lament, um, all the meetings that I have. Um, this is a packed day for sure. Got therapy at 10 a.m. Um, by the way, y'all, if you have a baby, you should definitely get a postpartum therapist. Like, they are awesome. It just, you know, helps you kind of process all the changes and keep track of your, like, mood and energy um, some coping strategies for the hard bits. You know, all of that stuff. So I highly recommend it if you are having a baby or thinking about having a baby. Um, one of the things I'm definitely looking forward to is this trip to California. It's going to be a real quick trip. We're literally leaving on the 13th and coming back the 15th. Um, but it's to see my grandmother. She's her, her health is combination of steady and failing. Um, and I want to, um, I want my daughter to see at least one of her remaining grandparents. And, um, you know, my mom will be there. It's mother's day. I think it'll be a really nice trip. I'm like hoping it goes well. My sister is coming with me on the plane to help with the baby, so I am so thankful for that because just having an extra pair of pants is great. And she's also, like, my sister in particular is just a very capable um, person and really good with the kids, like, you know, with little kids especially. So I feel very lucky. And this day, I'm going to be on campus, and thankfully, um, John is, my husband's taking the day off to watch the baby. It's not ideal, obviously, because, you know, he only has so much um, PTO that he accrues, but it's nice that we have, that he can do that, and, you know, it's, and he, he supports my, my career, and wants me to be able to do the things I need to do um, with as much ease as possible. Um, we could, and my, my parents are out of town, otherwise they would have probably watched her, but, um, so that's why we're doing what we're doing. So I think that'll be a good day. It's sort of a team building, a little bit of team building um, slash coordinating type of thing that we're doing.
and this is Memorial Day. And my friend's daughter's birthday. Nice! Doesn't that look cute? I think it looks super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and like come over this a little bit. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I like pre wrote out the months when I first got this planner because I kept messing up which month I was on when I was dating it. And um, so I just did it and I didn't really like, I, what I should have done is written it in like black ink and then I could have written like whatever colors I was using that month over it. Um, I think that would have looked cuter for sure. I also might come up here with some pink washi to like balance out some of this color scheme. But let's do some more stickers and then I'm going to do like my like priorities and stuff like that. Um, let's see here. I think I'll have this little guy. <clears throat> and then a little like firefly trail. so cute personal and work I'm kind of excited coming up to um, to, to redo my passion roadmap which I will do soon because um, because the middle of the year is coming up and that's when I do that and I just think like I could use a refresh on what I want to be working on I think it will be like a fun exercise to do that I also think for, let's see, this is people to see, places to go, not to-do list. I think the stars might be a good call here. Um, there's a lot of places to go. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it's interesting. I think some people are like, well, what's the point of this box, right? But I think it's more valuable if you hadn't already decided where you want to go in that month um, or like the people you wanted to see I think it's like kind of a good little prompt to be like um, consider you know right now as you're setting up this month what like fun things you'd like to include in your plans um, or what connections you want to strengthen or what have you um, I just think like it's a good prompt for that if you hadn't already like thought about it ahead of time or you hadn't already like booked out your whole month um, like we did. So it's good in that sense, I think. Let's see here. We do one of these littler little little fireflies. This is where I put my like monthly task list. So I'm leaving a little space for that. Um, I've condensed it somewhat so it's not as, so it doesn't take up as much space. Hmm, I think I messed up. Um, so I want to like include a little decoration, but at the same time, I want to leave some space for that. Okay, let's do, okay, so I think I'm gonna come up here with some pink washi. Here's all my pinks, do I have any more pinks? Uh, no, those are more like reds and oranges. I think as far as pinks go, we're looking at, I'm 
this like very saturated pink is the way to go, especially with washi, this transparent. Um, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of color saturation. I haven't put washi at the top in a while, so it's kind of fun. I don't have like that washi bump at the top. I definitely have a bump going on <laughs> here because of the weekly washies. Oh, that's the end of that uh, washi roll. It's the first time I've actually used all of the washi in a roll, so I must use the pink a lot. I'm sure you're shocked. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching my videos, I'm sure that shocks shocks you that I used up all the all the pink. Um, I am definitely looking forward to like summer weather. The pool is open on Memorial Day weekend where I live, so that will be nice because I definitely plan on getting me some pool time this summer. Um, and obviously with my bringing my daughter along for that too. Um, another major thing that's going to happen is, you know, we're going to have to line up some kind of like actual daycare for her, which I'm not looking forward to only because, I mean, you know, if you're a parent, you know, that bit's hard, um, especially when you've been able to have like so much time with them. Um, you know, you just, you get used to it and it's just hard. Like even when I leave her with, with family and friends, you know, I, it's hard not to like think about her all the time and defeat the point of, <laughs> of getting a break, you know? Um, but it's, it's definitely professionally necessary and I know, I know that. So I'm preparing myself. Um, and the good news is that like, I'm, I'm lucky enough in my job that I, that it's, that it can be part-time care. And so I will get a lot, still a lot of time with her in a given week. And actually I'm hoping what happens is because I'll have that time without her, like the dedicated time without her, that I'll be able to like really take that time I have with her and be fully present with her. You know, <laughs> that would be ideal because right now I'm like, I, my brain is constantly just split between her care and work stuff. So, um, yeah, so it would be nice to have a little more compartmentalization so that, you know, I feel like we're spending quality time. Um, okay. So I'm bringing over some stuff from April cause April was just crazy. Um, and there's still like stuff that's ongoing too. So in the academic writing column, um, I will, I know by now, um, I need both the intro and the, um, chapter that I'm contributing. Um, I would like a draft here. I would like to give this to my writing group. I think I'm trying to think there might be a grant that I'm co-authoring. There was something else. Oh, CFP, but I'm not going to, I'm going to put, probably put that off. Yeah. Cause May is just crazy. So I'm just going to do what I absolutely have to do in this month. Um, and then for, I'm going to create both an admin teach area. Um, by then, I think I will need to, so I'll definitely have summer class. We'll see if I can get any of this done this week, but I probably will have some summer class prep I need to do. Um, final grades. I also have my promotion in eight in August and it would be nice to know if I like need, what do I need for that promotion list? 
um, before like everyone takes off for summer, if I need something from someone, it'd be nice to like know what that is and ask them for it. So there may be an admin thing I need to add on here, but I don't know yet because we just have all these meetings. So um, the meetings are in there, but let's do family. Um, so for Freya, I really need to order pictures. <laughs> order pictures. Um, and I haven't abandoned my video project idea for her either. I just don't have time to deal with it right now. So we still need to make a will. That has not happened. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else family, like, that we need to do for our family in the month of May. I mean, there's Mother's Day gifts. And there will be Freya's seven month picture. Oh, also she has, she's not sure when her next COVID chat will be. If it's in this month or the following month, I need to ask, but maybe. So I'm putting it there as a maybe. Um, and then there's house stuff and if I'm looking at my the only thing I haven't done on here that I could possibly do um, is more like, I'm going to go ahead and put um, like home slash me. I don't know why I'm grouping them, but I am. Um, so top priority for myself is um, daily stretching and exercise and then for the home what was I just thinking of oh I want to compost set up compost um, I'm trying to think if there's anything we need to there, I feel like there's always something we need to do for the baby like there's things that come up and I'm like oh yeah we need to put the high chair together or we need to do this or that or whatever oh for Freya I should have put make a will up here. You know what? I'm going to do that. It is family. I don't know why I don't just put personal in both of these because it's like there's so much overlap. Um, here for Freya, we have, we're doing, um, you know, I want to be more intentional about and this probably is going to come up when I do my next roadmap, but like more intentional about helping her like get new tastes and new textures. And, you know, like I really want to set her up for some like eating success, although I know it's an ebb and flow type of thing for most people. Um, but I just, I need to, it takes effort and planning and, um, you know, we've just been like kind of keeping our heads above water right now. So, okay. This month's focus for personal. Oh, also daycare big one um so this month's focus is definitely i need for personal it is absolutely um my health since i'm coming off pt i need to just be more accountable um in making like this a priority because i just don't want to go back to doing pt i want to be able to like maintain it myself and then for a professional this month, um, the priority is mm, too many, too many things. I mean, my, my personal priority for work is not the same as probably the thing that will take up the most time. I think, um, I'm going to make that a collection, my priority. I need to like wherever I can prioritize work on that. Okay. People to see. So my mom's family and, um, who else are we going to see? We're going to see my sister and we are going to see, um, as much as we can, my brother and sister-in-law and my niece before they leave. 
places to go. We're going to Norfolk. We're going to California. And Stanton. Not to-do list. Not to do pile on. <laughs> because there is enough going on in this month. Um, neglect myself. Yeah. Yep. I like that. I think this turned out real cute, don't you? Let me know in the comments if you think this is super cute, because I'm loving it. It's definitely, like, bright and... Like just summer, like saturated. I love the little fireflies. They're like one of my favorite things to see in the summer. I just love seeing their little lights, not fireflies, lightning bugs in the bushes, you know, like. I just think it's adorable. So let me know in the comments if you agree. Um, I'm going to put my monthly task list here. But other than that, I think we're all set. Thanks for watching this plan with me. I know this is probably a little rambly. Um, but I was enjoying myself so much, I wasn't really thinking about it. So <laughs> um, let me know uh, if you've got plans in May, what are they? And uh, I will see you back here for some more planning fun. I'm going to do some more daily plan with me's. I've got some like goal setting stuff that's coming up and 23 for 2023 and like just a bunch of fun stuff I'm hoping to send your way. So stay tuned for that and I will see you here soon. Bye.